If you look at, according to what God gave us since last year to write for the month of March 2000, you will recognize that it looks like a coincidence, but I will call it God's incident. Because God had warned us that trouble is coming, and we have written it before the time, that we should pray to the Lord to grant knowledge and wisdom to our government during this momentous time. And the scripture, 2 Corinthians 7, 14 came. And if you re recognize this, it was in that month of March that the, this COVID disease spread. It began to spread rapidly and the news of people dying, 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 filled the whole air all over the world. And this, it was in this month that Christians now started to use the social media to pray, to conduct services. Because we cannot meet again any in the church building. And so, there was so much uncertainty all over the whole place. People are so terrified and all stuff like that. And if you look at, God has given the solution in our calendar even before the month. So people bent their knees and began to pray according to 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4, 14. But if you look at in our calendar for the month of April, which is just this month we are finishing, the Lord God said that the scripture we should pray is Exodus 12, 12 and 13. And it says, pray that God's people will receive divine protection in these last days of judgment. Certainly, God revealed it. Because I read to you before in the book of Amos, God, the sovereign Lord, surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plans to his servants, the prophet. That is Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Can I just say to us that the month of April 2020 did not, was not only welcomed by the report of death and terror and fear and dread. All these things, I believe, stir up the heart of the elect of God. And they rose up according to 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and people began to pray, the battle of the COVID virus, really an angel appeared to me in the same month of, towards the end of uh, March, and told me that the church of God had not been using God, the Holy Spirit. And he says, tell the people of God on earth to begin to command the fire of God to destroy everything the devil has coded in the human mind, soul and spirit and also send the fire of God. Pray that God, the Holy Spirit, send your fire into every place. Do you know what happened? If you have been conversing with the news, suddenly by the middle of April, we began to hear more about va vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. Why some people have carried the whole world, it will take 18 months before vaccine, vaccine will be ready. In another world, people will continue to die for 18 months we continue to pray that, Lord, remember you said we will discover cure, not send the cure, rebuke the spirit of fear, silence, turn the counsel of high to fear to foolishness. Every scaremonger, Lord, destroy them. Release your angel. And then I began to teach on the signs of the end. And I'm going to talk more about this in this cast, which if you go to my YouTube, you see several lectures I've done on the signs of the end. It is not by coincidence that God told us to write all this in our calendar and it's happening. However, in the month of April, the first result we saw globally was the governor uh, or the, the, the mayor of Bergamo, the, the, the very city in Italy that was very much afflicted, went on his knees and he gathered his people and they went to the streets and they bent their knees on the street and they were weeping unto God. No wonder God answer, because if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, God says. And suddenly, the death toll began to reduce, and those who recover began to increase. Let me say this to you. Both BBC and ITV never told us at all how many people are recovering. They have always told us the number of people dying here, the number of people dying here. I thought a balanced news should cover every news. But thank God that Al Jazeera began to, re, to, to publish the number of people who recovered. And I say this, we did, be, begin to discover the second week to the third week, the ratio of dead began to go down and the ratio of recovery began to go up. 
It is the power of God and the prayer of the saints of God and people who have repented and called for prayer like the governor or uh, the, 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 the mayor of Pagamo and the rest of them that stopped all this. I was so elated when I heard on the BBC News that the Oxford University have discovered a vaccine, which they say will happen in, in, uh, in uh, 18 months. Because when we started praying, all the bureaucracy that is set up medically for a vaccine to be certified was taken away. Somebody, you know, UCL and I, we, a couple with some uh, engineers, first discovered the, the CPAP that they use. And then that helped in the intensive care for oxygen. And then the, the vaccine now is come. And they have started to in, inject people in vaccine. Let me say this. Is it not ironical that some Christians now began to say that the vaccine is a cheat and is the mark of the beast? Nonsense. Nonsense. God is not interested in all those trash. It is not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast will be the mark of man. Six, six, six. Not a cheat, man. But those who are calling, talking about 5G, we want 5G now because now we have found out during this COVID and shut down. See, if it is Satan who, who, who shut us down, uh, uh, well, he will have regretted now that he shut us down because in this world of shutdown, we have innovated. We have discovered many means of reaching the whole world without spending money, much money. Now we are reaching to the whole continent of the globe through social media on a daily basis, 7 p.m. daily, you can join Apostle Williams in prayer warfare. The Bible says, if my people that by call by my name, didn't say if my denomination, if they can humble themselves and pray, we are now praying and targeting to reach a, a million people praying. I told my people, if Satan can kill people so much, then the church of God must come out of this giving life and salvation to many people. That is what we will do. That is what we must do. Because when Jesus began to talk about the signs of the end in the book of Matthew 24, if you read from verse, from verse 3, you know, Jesus began to talk about the, the signs of the end. Let me read the verse 3 to you. And it says, And Jesus, as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, what will be? What will this? When will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of age? What is this that they're talking about? It is in verse 1. And was walking away when his disciples called his up his his, his call came up to him and, uh, to call his attention to his building. That is the building, uh, uh, Moses, the, the temple of Moses. It says, do you see, Jesus said, all these things, I tell you the truth, not one of them here, one of, one of the stones here will be left on another everyone will be thrown down. And so they were asking him in verse 3 that when will this be? And then they said, when will, what will be the, the sign of your coming and the end of age? If you look at when Jesus began to talk to them, the first thing he says, watch out that you are not deceived. Deception is the most powerful weapon of Satan. He deceived from beginning. He deceived along the way and is still deceiving till today. And Christians must know this. Do, you must not be deceived. What can give rise to deception is if a man does not have adequate information himself. If you don't have the true knowledge of what the Bible is saying, if you're a Christian, you don't read Bible, you don't study Bible, and your church, they're only telling you stories about breakthrough, about demons. Now, you finish about demons. People who have been knowing about demon, 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 now what can they do? What can they do? Down to be afraid. If it is prosperity, 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 now what can your prosperity do now? But anybody who have been taught about godliness and holiness and intimacy with Jesus, they are the one who can go to the drawing board and say, Lord Jesus, what is happening? Angels will speak to you. Jesus will reveal to you by dreams and visions. This is a time that God is changing the perspective of the church people. Now you now look at what you have been taught all these years and see. After all, with all what you have taught, some, some Christians are into fear. They are so terrified by nothing. Because they have no substance from God. To, to, to fall back to in this time of fulfillment. Jesus said, deception. And when he went further, because we won't talk about that today, he ended up in verse 14 by saying, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. And so my ap appeal to the church of God is this. As they have been giving news of people dying, 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 you begin to thank God for people recovering because more people are recovering right now. And in a short time, we soon come to the end of COVID-19. It will be conquered. 
It really has been conquered. Like Boris Johnson said yesterday that if it was an invisible uh, hemisphere, we have all wrestled him to the ground and we will soon get away with it. But I want to say this to you. You must recognize it's the power of prayer that worked. A Pagamon is one of the, a Pagamon is one of the uh, example. The leader there recognized God of Israel, the king of heaven. And he got his people to the streets and they pleaded. Look at how it has gone down there. All right? Those who have no faith are the ones who are, who are joining in the scaremongering that, oh, more people will die. Hey, this world will, will perish. All that will happen. Come on, let me say something to you. This world is going to, not, not going to be destroyed by COVID-19. COVID-19 came and it will go as it came. And you must know this. And those of you who, are, who, who believe in Christ Jesus know this. Satan cannot penetrate you if he cannot overcome you with fear. If he cannot deceive you, he cannot rule your mind. If he can deceive you and rule your mind, then he can access your body. If he can access your body, then he can afflict you and destroy you. What about if a Christian is affected during this time? Do you know how the scriptures in the book of Exodus chapter 15, it says, I will not permit the disease of Israel, Egypt to come upon you, for I am the Lord that healed thee. In Isaiah, it says that he was wounded because of our transgressions, just because of our iniquity. The chastisement that makes us all is upon him by his stripes, you were healed. Look, let me say something to you. One of the greatest advantages of Christians is that if we fall sick, we have a place to fall into and get healed. And it's the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says God gave Jesus a name that is above all names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, including COVID-19. COVID-19 is nothing at the face of faith in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have laid hands on people who had worse than COVID-19 and they have been healed. Dead have been raised. Creative miracles have happened in the church and in our crusade in the name of Jesus. So COVID-19 is nothing. Don't make anything of what God called nothing. Are we together now? However, let me say something again too. What about what the government said about social distancing? The time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Because the critical thing we must do to stop the disease spreading between households that is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household. Any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person. And travelling to and from work but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. Are the government right? I will read to you the book of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20 and 21. It says, go, my people, enter your rooms and shut the door behind you. Hide yourself for a little while until his rot has passed. Verse 21 says, Isaiah 26, see, the Lord is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sin. The earth will dis dis disclose the blood shed upon her. She will conceal her slain no longer. So the scripture says here, when the wrath of God passes, God said to his people, lock up yourself in your home for a little while. So lockdown is in the scripture. It is in line with the will of God. Also, if in the book of Exodus chapter 12, when God was going to send the plague into Egypt, he told Israel to enter their room, shut their door for that night. And he said it clean clear, verse 12 of Exodus 12. On that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. Look at verse 13. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When, when plagues see the blood, it passes over. And it says, no destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. So Christians need to know this. So for us to, to lock ourselves, it's not because we're afraid of COVID, but that's what God said. When my rot is out, just shut yourself in your room and spend time for reflection, 
spend time to seek the face of God. And that is what is happening now. Now that they have, they, we are on shutdown or lockdown, Christians are now able to carry church into their home. Though we cannot meet in church building, but we can meet in our homes. And the, the, the greatest joy of any true servant of God is to, to see that people take church to their homes, not just come to building every day. The building is not the church. It is the people. So if in my church now, <coughs> we have been praying only in the building, all of us come to pray here. Now, do you know every day we are praying in over 600 places in, you, in London here? Over 600 places. Can you imagine what is happening? When we gather in one place and we pray, we generate the power of God around the area. Now we have taken the battle to the homes of every member and we are destroying the powers of Satan in those areas and in those homes. And now we cover a greater region, spiritually, geographically. And let me say this to you. As they are calling the fire of God into those, those cities, into those places that they are having their meeting and they are praying the presence of God, the works of Satan in those areas are being deterred, are being retarded. Because of their prayer, angels are coming into those areas and doing the same work. Deliver, save. Deliver, save. Deliver, save. Destroy the works of Satan. Day and night we are praying. So there is great advantage in the decision. But understand, God said for a while, a while, and so we cannot be like that forever. What we said is basically stay at home. And the British public heard that message uh, loud and clear. And in the UK, people have stayed at home uh, overwhelmingly. And that's been a good thing in terms of delivering our ability to, to combat the disease and to get the R, the rate of transmission, down. Um, but it's a very, obviously, a very simple message. A, you know, it couldn't be starker. Stay at home. Now, it's, it's when you come to, to uh, take small steps back to normality, uh, as we are now, that clearly the message uh, becomes uh, finer, uh, more, more complicated. So we're taking baby steps, uh, if, you, if you like, and we think that's the right way to do it. If we stay at home and lock ourselves for one year, our nation will collapse. And God did not intend collapse. He said for a little while, shut yourself and then get out. And I'm sure that Holy Spirit, as we continue to pray for the government, they will, they will you know, uh, uh, decide in line with how the, the technicalities of how it will be relieved one after the other. And we go back to our normal life. Because God forgives sins when people pray. And I will say something to you, if you're a Christian, you better recognize now that God wake you up and wake me up, we cannot go back to the normal way before. It has changed the face of churching forever. This, this situation is giving birth to more prayer warriors because individuals in homes now are praying and they are leading their own prayers too in their homes. They are breaking bread in their homes. They are studying the Bible every day in their home. Home is receiving fire, fire. And when we finish it, we spread. This is what we give back to the great revival that we are waiting for. I am so glad for this season. If I live at all, I only live to see the gospel preached and to see humanity saved by the, the, the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, you Christians who listen to me, if you are the one that God depends upon to save others, you cannot be afraid. Fear comes from the devil. You, you don't entertain devil in your house. You must not receive the gift of Lucifer. He's, one of his gifts is fear, intimidation, terror. This is a time for you to know that nothing happened in this planet without the knowledge of your God. And God will always fulfill what he has promised which is to save you and I. So for this time I say to you, if you have been afraid, all right? If you have been afraid uh, as a Christian, you have made a mistake. If a Christian dies, he goes to heaven. So we have no problem about death. And we cannot die until the one who, we, who saved us say come. Nothing can overcome us if we're in close contact with heaven. So therefore, I will say to you now that for you who is a believer, I will read, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. This is a time to be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. How are you strong in the Lord? Fellowship with God regularly. Studying the word on a daily basis and praying. You have the armor. Put it on. The word of God, let it be your controller. 
no matter how intelligent you are how educated you are subject your education to the written word of god so that your intellectual reasoning will not take you into oblivion the bible says i stand at the door of your heart and knock jesus said if anybody opened the door of his heart i will come in i am my father and we will dwell with you god can enter your body now and if he does enter your body let me say this to you justification will come by the holy spirit who will live in your body and guilt will vanish in the name of jesus so why don't you pray this prayer with me lord jesus i thank you because you died for me i believe in my heart that god raised you jesus from the dead i confess with my lips jesus forgive me my sins I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If this is your first time of reading that prayer or you rededicated your life during this meeting or you were healed during the prayer, look, come on, make sure you contact me on my email as, as online. But don't forget, you can join Apostle Williams in ever prevailing prayer every 7 p.m., on my YouTube live or on our um, prayer line. You can always write to us or send us uh, an email rather and we will send you the, the um, uh, apps for the prayer line every day Monday to Sunday, uh, Monday to Sunday daily 7 p.m. You can join Apostle Williams anywhere in the world on the prayer that prevail. And God bless you. Expect a miracle before the next time you see me. Bye for now.